Which camera? Which camera? Oh! Oh, is, is it this camera? I don't know why I did that, I only have one camera. I'm a fucking dickhead. So today I thought I'd go through a few YouTubers that I like and maybe we can connect on an emotional level through similarity. But to connect on an emotional level through similarity, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So to help me out today, I have my main squeeze, the unfitting key. Hey guys, as you might have noticed, this video is all about me. I literally just told everybody what it was about. What do you mean? As in, it's not about you. So this video isn't about me. Keys, mate, please understand. And you're sure it's not about me? No, you're naming YouTubers. Okay. So together, Keys and I are gonna name five YouTubers for you that we like. Seems pretty simple, but I actually had a lot of trouble thinking of these. More trouble than I care to admit. So the first channel on the list is Hey Ash, What You Playing? BOSH! If anybody remembers that reference, then you deserve a pasty. The cast is made up of three family members. The, uh, the brother, the sister, and the father. The sister's the main character, Ash. The brother is the one that writes the skits and the comedy for it, so kudos to him for being so funny. And the father is just extremely crude. Y you guys grew up with that? So in case you didn't know this, one of my favourite YouTubers is Cryotic, previously known as Chaotic Monkey. He does gaming videos on YouTube and he's got a few million subscribers, I'm gonna say, but I'm not entirely sure. I like him mainly because of his voice. That's it. No, in all seriousness, he has a good YouTube channel. He plays games, but he also does this thing called Cry Reads. Granted, he hasn't done it in a year or so, but I'm holding out for some more. He's just so calm and chillax, and the way he plays games is so refreshing. The next one on my list is The Odd Ones Out, because I seem to, I feel like I have a lot in common with him. We've connected on an emotional level through similarity. I would say he's like a cartoonist, however he doesn't really deal with animation. He even states himself that he wants his videos to be seen as a moving comic with narration more so than seen as animation. But his stories are quite interesting and he's quite a nice guy. By the looks of it, I haven't spoken to him. Another one of my top five YouTubers is a very small YouTuber called Breezy. She's only got 31 subscribers, but I can't get over her vlogging style. It influences me greatly, and I'm very glad I came across her videos. Busy, if you're watching this, number one fan. So the next one on my list is Luna Lee. Can't really pronounce Korean names, so I hope that's her name. I completely understand if you didn't know who she is, as her channel is quite small compared to the others on this list. She takes modern day western songs, then covers them on her traditional Korean instrument that I shan't name because I'm terrible at pronouncing Korean words, but it's kind of like the Japanese Koto, however, it doesn't make a similar sound. She kind of does make a similar sound. Dong, dong, ding, ping, ting, ping, bong, wow, ping, ting, wong, bong, bing, bong, ba, 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 As you can probably tell, I can't play it. However, what she does, she's extremely talented at and deserves a lot more credit than she's given as the modifications made to the classical instrument so you can play it electronically is just fantastic. As I'm quite a big fan of Asian style music, whether it's modern or classical, it was quite interesting for me to see the songs that I know from my culture being played in the style of her culture. It's very interesting. So to people watching this, I definitely recommend you go have a look, and Luna Lee, if you're watching this, you deserve more credit. Meanwhile, in the big YouTuber universe, H3H3. I can never say those names fast, I'm like a slow speaker. H3H3. H3H3. Bah! H3H3 Productions. He reacts to videos. Before you get mad, he doesn't react in the way a lot of people do react. By which I mean this. Uh -huh. to face your fears. Okay. No this fair. is a good video. Behind jazz. What are you talking about? Yeah. You I agree with all points and things jazz. stated in this video. Boring! No, he is a comedian of sorts, some kind of ish. He's a sort of comedian. He'll watch a video and then he'll make jokes about it. Or make fun of it. 
The next person on my list is a huge influence and inspiration on me. So if you like my videos, then listen up. His channel is Make Me About 35, and also known as Damien, or Jimmy, dependent on which era you went into his channel and saw his character. He's been on YouTube for about 10 years, and it's safe to say I've probably been watching him for about 8 of those years. Oh, how I miss those days of YouTube. Things were better. Back to the small YouTubers, and this one I know is going large. Conite! And no, I'm not just saying this because I'm in this collab video. Please keep me in. I've got no one else. Conite, please! But in all seriousness, his videos are a style of comedy I haven't seen in a long time. Possibly ever. Something about his humour just kind of... Makes me hard. Makes me feel good. You just don't get this kind of YouTube talent in truckloads these days. Uh, I'm sorry, Keys. I, I didn't put you on my list. Uh, I didn't expect you to put me on your list until I started editing it. And the final person on my YouTuber list is Abroad in Japan. The channel is run by a guy called Chris Broad. That's right, Abroad in Japan. His whole channel is based on a pun. You may not know, but he's actually very famous. He's very high up on famousbirthdays.com. See what I did there, Chris? Remember that, this guy. He makes videos traveling around Japan and various Japanese cultures, but implementing a sort of skit into his vlogs and it definitely puts a dynamic on it. A very creative edge. He's actually a really funny and super sarcastic guy, so it's the final one on my list. So for my final person, Bren Daniel Reads. Unless his channel name's just Bren Daniel. This mind of mine, crazy. Bren Daniel! This guy literally just reads stuff from like Reddit, 4chan, fanfiction. He has the voice of a really fucked up angel. <laughs> I like listening to his Tales from 4chan series. It just gives it some... I don't know what this is, but I'm doing it a lot. It gives it some pizzazz, some silliness in seriousness. He makes me believe the stories are real, though most of them are probably fabricated. The, uh, you can't really trust 4chan. This is a long distance collab. It's hard on both of us. So guys, that was my top five, and I hope you enjoyed Conrad's top five too. Unless... It was just my top five for some reason, in case. Thank, thank you. But seriously, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to Conite, and if you want to check me out, I'm the Unfitting Key. Link's probably in the description somewhere, or there could be an annotation on my elbow if you want to do that. Up to you, dude. So, now that Keys has given me more work to do, I'm going to see us out. And stick around to see the rest of Conite's seven day challenge. But in all seriousness, thank you for watching the video, and me gone, can I say stuff, maybe? Can't really argue with that. I actually want to take a second to thank the unfitting key. He's my main squeeze. For helping out a lot with this video, as essentially he's the one that helped put the guidelines down for any sort of scripting, and he was a big help when it came to the Google Drive shit. I mean, I don't like Google Drive. I'm not sure what this is. Keys also took a moment to say this at one point, however I didn't know how to put it into the video, so here it is. And this is to his audience now, if you haven't seen them, go check out the rest of his 7 day challenge. So thanks Keys for stating that.